All right, lovely friend. God is good and all the time. That is his nature. You are welcome once again to the voice of Hope Broadcast. I am your servant, Pastor Isaac Apple. Today our devotion is entitled, Buried but Not Forgotten. Our Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 12 verse 24 says that, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. You know, beloved friend, every seed in the hands of a farmer has a lot of potentials to produce bountiful harvest and to multiply endlessly. But you must understand that before the farmer can unlock the endless potential of a seed, the farmer must release the seed from his hand and drop it in the dirt. In fact, the farmer must actually cover the tiny seed in the earth and leave it to struggle to reach the light before the seed can reach its full potential. Another thing we must also understand is that even when the seed is out of the farmer's hand, it is still in his care. The farmer will continue to care for the seed that is still buried in the ground by watering it, by making sure other weeds are not fighting over the space that the seed is buried. What I want you to understand today is that God knows exactly what he's doing in your life. You may have been buried by problems upon problems in your life, but I want you to understand today that God has not forgotten you. He will never abandon you because he has said in his word that I will be with you even to the end of time. You see, God is the farmer and you and I are the seed. The abandonment you feel, the darkness you see, the struggles that you are going through in life are the keys to unlocking the potentials in you. Before you can reach your greatness, you must first be buried. Remember, Jesus Christ had to be buried for three days before you could sit at the right hand side of the Most High God. You may sometimes feel like you are out of God's hand. You may sometimes feel like God is not listening to your prayers. But the truth is that you are still in God's care. Do not be afraid. Stand firm and remain faithful in Him because in due season, after your breakthrough, you shall thank God for allowing you to go through that dark period of your life. Remember, Jesus Christ said that unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it will remain alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Your hardship will not be in vain. Everything that you are going through now is preparing you for what God has ordained for your life. Never let the enemy lead you into taking other plans that are contrary to the word of God. Remain faithful. The Bible says, wait on him and he will renew your strength and let you fly with the wind of eagle. The Bible in James chapter 1, reading from verses 2 to 4, says that, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you fall into various temptations, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Let endurance have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So, beloved friend, no matter what you are going through, the Word of God is telling us today that you may be buried, but you have not been forgotten. God still has you in mind, and in His own appointed time, you make all things beautiful in your life. So, in the meantime, count it all joy. Whatever that you are going through, count it all joy, because in the end, you are going to come out perfect, lacking nothing. May God grant you the strength to remain faithful in Him, even in the dark part of your life. Father, I want to thank you so much for blessing us with the truth of your word, for letting us to know that even when we feel like we have been buried in this life, you still care for us, and in your own time, you will let us come out shining and complete, lacking nothing. Grant us the faith to remain faithful in these difficult times. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. <music> 